Welcome back. Well, let's focus on the government's divestment plan. And as of now, they seem to be lagging a little bit. We've still got close to around four months uh, for this fiscal itself. But just to put up the numbers then on your screen, up till now, they've done only around 8,000 crores approximately. And the target for this year was set at around 51,000 crores at this year's budget. Remember in the past, only in, in uh, FY19, that's the year that they actually uh, achieved what they had set out to do. And that was because of the Bharat 22, as well as the CPASE, which contributed bulk of that 84,000 crores odd that they did raise. What have they raised so far? Well, they've raised 8,000 crores. Bulk of it has come in from Coal India. You've got a small uh, share coming from Hoodco, RBNL, as well as SJBN. But Coal India was bulk of that 8,000 crores approximately that they have raised. Now, the problem was that there were two assets that they were counting on, and both of them didn't come through. So IDBI Bank, well, the process to appoint that valuer with regard to this divestment, that's been withdrawn. And now, in all probability, it'll be a story of FY25. The government, remember, they hold close to 45% stake in there. You have LIC as well that holds a large chunk of around 49% odd. And the current value of that 45% will be close to around 30,000 crores approximately. But that's, uh, you know, taken a pause as of now, and the street is not optimistic about that going through. The other one was the NNBC steel plant. For years, I've been hearing about this, this plant going to be commissioned. It's actually commissioned. They were factoring in that they'll sell close to 50.8% stake in the company, and they'll raise close to 11,000 crores. They are invested close to 24, 25,000 crores odd. So at uh, you know 100%, it would be valued at around 22,000 crores approximately. But because of the Chhattisgarh state elections, that as well has hit a bit of a roadblock, and we'll have to see post the election whether or not that comes through, because that's a good 11,000 crores that they can get for that asset. And there were plenty of bidders as well in there. Tata Steel, JSW Steel, other uh, you know, steel conglomerates as well were looking at it. Now, what are the options they have on the table? Hindustan Singh, the government owns closer around 30% stake in the company. The value as of now is around 35,000 crores approximately. Now, maybe in fact, you know, Vedanta Group has been interested in this asset, but some reports indicate that maybe they'll go ahead and they'll sell closer around 5% uh, in the company. If that's the case, they could raise close to around a billion dollars at current market price. So let's see whether or not they do that. The other option is LIC. It's suddenly come to life, and the total ma market capitalization is more than 4 lakh crore. Remember, the IPO was done at a price of more than 900 rupees, and even after the rally we saw at the end of the week, the stock is still 29% away from its IPO price. But if they even manage to sell a couple of percentage points, well, that could raise more than a billion dollars odd, because 1% will be 4,000 crores. And could they turn to Coal India? There's plenty of demand in there for Coal India. They've already sold close to 1.5% stake. But going by the demand, going by the valuations and the outlook for Coal India as well, they could easily garner a couple of thousand crores if they go ahead and they bite the bullet. So let's see how things go from now. But as of now, they're lagging with regard to the divestment target of around 51,000 crores. Or Dam uh, Capital, they said there's a possibility that they go ahead and they miss this target. But they're saying they're factoring in roughly around 20 to 25,000 crores. Or if that is the case, well, there'll be a bit of a slip on the fiscal by close to a fiscal deficit target of around 5.9% by around 10 basis points. So we'll have to see how this uh, flows out. But as of now, it appears they're a little behind the curve. Uh, Meera, I wanted your uh, take on this. You know, we also have state elections and get into an election year. We could see some kind of subsidy, some kind of freebies as well that are doled out, which could put a bit of a problem and some pressure on the fiscal deficit. But you have dividends that have made up for that. So how do you see this pan out? So I think... Uh, being an election year state as well as centre, my guess is that all the cases where there is some strategic divestment involved may be postponed, mm. right? So I don't think they'll take any little bit political sensitive decisions before the election. So those I think we can rule out. Uh, but uh, the, on the other hand, the GST collections are, are quite robust. Yeah. And uh, a 0.1, 0 0.2 slippage in GDP should, should not be that much of an issue. So I don't think the government is in, uh, any, under any time pressure to do this. Mm. If they can do it, fine. Uh, if it doesn't happen, it won't be a big issue, I guess, yeah. from the fiscal point of view. Yeah. Yeah. But given the market conditions and the fact that PSUs have been some of the best performing stocks in this year, even if they wanted to do it, I don't see too much of an issue. I, I, it's just a question of you know the will to do it. And we still have four months in the year. Yeah, indeed. And most of the economists, they are penciling a number of around 6.1, 6.2% approximately. Exactly. The government said they'll do 5.9%. So I think pretty much, you know, the, everyone's prepared for a bit of a slip out there. Absolutely. We'll have to see the nominal GDP. Actually, they had forecasted as 10.5%. But I think most are factoring in 8 to 9% also. You know, that'll be the various parts of the puzzle. But as you said, some kind of slippage is being factored in in the price as of now. Absolutely. It's been a great conversation, here. Thank you very much uh, for joining in. With that, it's a wrap on this edition of Editor's Roundtable. Stay with us. Uh, more news and updates continues.